27-year-old Masie Cheng has created a haven for creatives in the heart of Kibra, Nairobi County. A teacher by profession, Masie passes on her passion for fashion and design to children from the vast slum area and its environs. What started off as a hobby for her is now also a chance for the children to learn and sharpen other skills beyond their education. I caught up with the administrator of Joy Springs Educational Center in this week's Women in Power. My name is Masi Achieng. I am a teacher by profession. I'm also I'm an administrator in this same school. I also have a passion in interior design and I have a really big interest in that particular area in such a way that I also decided to start a creativity club in this school where I get to transfer the skills and the talent I have and the knowledge that I have to the children because I love working with the children. After high school, I really had an interest in in just getting something to keep me going. So I started by teaching classes four, five, six, and then with time, I started teaching class seven and eight. And that's where I started building relationship with children and getting to know what they love doing. And that is how I got into the interest of teaching. Yes, and then I decided to go for a degree course now in education where I did English literature at KU. But I did my teaching practice in a TTC here at the Thogoto, Thogoto Teachers College. I realized there are so many activities besides education that can really matter to the heart of a child. So, that, um, so I decided that I'm going to start something that relates to what I love doing. I love uh, paying attention to so many uh, details on, on an item. So I thought it would be really nice to find a club where I could get to teach children about uh, anything creative making cards, uh, making mats, drawings, uh, doing bottle art and all those things, they really interest me. So being in a school setting, I think it's very important to offer a holistic kind of education whereby you don't just offer the academic part, but also you get an opportunity to train them something that you love. I've been in the club for more than five years with the kids. So during school days, we do it like once a week because there are so many other activities that happen. But during uh, holidays, I get them here every single day. We have guests and visitors who come from outside the country. They come to run a, a VBS during the August. And we also have other well-wishers who support us with the resources. So when, when they do the VBS, there are some materials they leave for us. And when they leave them for us, they expect us to use them in a, in a good way. So instead of just uh, issuing them out randomly without helping the children understand what the materials are meant for, I think it's better to use them in a club where I'm able to explain this is what it's used for and this is how it's able uh, to bring out a product that you want. So I, I don't charge because we receive the materials out of, from well-wishers. I have a big challenge when it comes to resources, the resources I need to support the artistic work and the creativity in children and also machines and also you've seen computers uh, we only have two of them so the guy in charge of teaching the children how to do their computerized work he's not able to concentrate with a big number of children on one computer i didn't go for training on how to make pillows and how to make cushions but it's what it's giving me money and earning me money at the moment because I get orders from people who want cushions and these pillows and decorative pillows and the mats and all those things. So this means that if I transfer the knowledge and somewhere in future they, they want to try out something on their own, they're also able to, to come back even for advice. I'm able to tell them this is how I started and this is the far I have come. These are the challenges and this is how you can keep growing yourself.